Hello, everybody, to the talk about Open Journey Planner and the toolkit to build your own trip planner. Uh, my name is Matthias Günther, and uh, we will do the presentation, uh, Vasile and myself. Um, I'm more of the business analysis side, and Vasile did the whole coding. So you will see this when we go through the presentation. Um, we work for SBB in the part System Aufgaben Kundeninformation, who do directly work for the Federal Office of Transportation in the area of uh, passenger information in, in this case. Uh, next slide, please. Yeah. Let's do that on, on my screen. Hello, everyone. Um, yeah. Perfect. Okay, so this is the content. I will tell some everything about uh, the specification itself, then how it is work and what data is available currently and in future. And then we will go for the deep dive with, with Vasila into the OGP demonstrator. Slide. So the, the CEN says that it is an European standard. It is a, a protocol. Um, for distributed trip planning. So uh, we were a bit unimaginative. So the protocol has the same name as the service we provide. Um, this creates some confusion, but uh, I think you, you will see when we say, uh, talk about which part. <coughs> oh, okay. Oh. Um, the, the service consists of, of, of different request responses. Um, we, we have the location information request, stop event request, trip re in request, trip info request, fair request. I go quickly through these because I will on the next slide go into the details. Um, we want to make an extension that the availability request if, if some traffic, uh, some vehicle is uh, available or not. And then there are two more um, uh, request responses that are used, especially if you do really distributed trip planning between the active system, which communicates really with the end user application and the passive systems that uh, provide the data. Next slide, please. <clears throat> So um, everything works from a single endpoint. So in the, if you look in detail at what is on the right side in the, in the uh, you see it is XML. Uh, so it is not a JSON REST. Um, at least currently we are thinking about uh, doing something like that for the next release of OGP. But currently it is XML processing with a single endpoint. So it is not, nothing fancy to do with the URL. It is just one URL, and then you have to do everything in the body of the of the message. Um, there is also the link to the cookbook, and there on that link you have an API explorer that allows you to do uh, first uh, steps where you can send data to the system and get the response, and you can see what it what it looks like. Um, next slide. Um, Perhaps also it's important um, if you want to do something on your own, you will have to have a, a, an API key. And I think the, we have in it is also on that page how you get it. Um, it. You can easily get one that is not ultra powerful, but it is certainly enough to, to play around with, a, with an application and the interface on, on your side. Um, so, so the whole, whole set of uh, requests and responses is, is, is intended to, to be used in a certain way. And the, the, the first one is the OGP location information request that you use to get information about stops. Um, you can also get information about point of interest if they are in the database. Um, there is also the possibility or will be uh, on getting the location of sharing services, parking spaces, and, and other things. So uh, everything that has a geolocalization, you get with that. And then you use the result, namely the ID in, in further searches. Um, the, 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 the thing is always the same. You have a, a, a certain request. <coughs> 
and uh, from of that type, then it's general information. Here, this is a name, and then some restrictions or parameters that say what you want. So what, what I, I say here, I, I want to, to get with the name burn. I want, I want to get only um, stops, and I want ten results. It's important to know this is a detail. Um, if you set it to one, it is not sure that you will get one, because there are groups of of equal probability. And if a, uh, that group is sent, it is the whole is sent. Otherwise, you might have places where there are two stops. And if you set it to one, you get the wrong one. And then you're in trouble later on in the process. Um, next slide, please. The, this, the second one is the stop event request. Uh, you, with that, you can build your own arrival on departure board for a given uh, stop. You see the, the stop place rave here, which uh, is burn actually. And then you can give a departure arrival time and set a lot of, of things, uh, uh, including if you want to have real time data with the include real time data um, element. And you can also say that you want to see the whole journey and not only um, at the, the stop for each of these. Next one. Then the, the core is, is, is the OGP trip request, which allows to, to calculate trips from a set of coordinates, from stops, from points of interest. You could also use addresses if you know the address ref or topographic place refs if you know those. I didn't mention them because usually um, you don't do that. You either use the coordinates or, or the, the element. In the service we offer, there is one via allowed. Um, in principle, the, the standard would allow several, but the, the server does not handle that. Uh, but in the end, you can always create your own via uh, by doing more than one request. And it is important, the, the idea is usually that you have done an OGP location information request before you go into the um, trip request and, and not try to do this, this in one. Then it is important to note that you have a lot more filters and parameters that you can use for this um, request. I think Vasile will show, show some, but uh, it, it, it is also it's it, important to know that not all are equally interesting um, and some that are available in the standard are, are not supported. For, for instance, uh, as optimization method to, to have minimal cost, we don't support it now because we don't, didn't have loaded the, uh, the tariff model in, into the, the service. Next one, please. The OGP trip info request is, uh, we don't use it often. It, it, the ID is usually that, that after you have searched and you have started the trip, you get some information about the vehicle or about the journey. Um, from, from the terms, the trip is, is really a, a planned trip between A and B by, by one customer. And the journey is, is, is something that was planned in the, ta in the timetable so that the, at the, uh, for instance, at 8.02, uh, there is a train going from Bern to Zurich. That is a, a, a journey. Or a vehicle. Some services, there is more important to have a, a vehicle. And this information, you, you always have to get either from a, a, a stop event request or from, from a trip request because th these are provided there and you have to reverence those. Um, Currently, I, I think it is is not fully useful in in what you want to do. We are we're thinking about um, what we could change to to make it more useful later on. Otherwise, it's a rather simple request. So um, there are other things we 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 haven't um, yet implemented. Or they are not not fully of use for, for you if you want to do something there. Um, the OGP fare request would take a, a full trip that you have calculated already and then ask for prices. Uh, the, the problem we have is that we don't have a system yet that can do, do that, um, but we, we will do something like that 
at a certain point. The, the next thing is the OGP availability request, which doesn't exist in the current version of the standard, but there are um, it is clear from others how, how to do that. It is already in the a pull request is, is already prepared to do that. You, you see the sequence diagram, how, how this could look like. Um, the difference usually is that the availability request um, you don't do to the OGP service, but you have to go to, to the mobility provider um, himself and they need to support this um, so that you can do that. For instance, this is important if you do more on-demand public transport where you need, need you have some static calculation that there is a, a vehicle driving around in the area, but you need to know, can I get on that vehicle if I go tomorrow at four o'clock from uh, uh, coordinates A? So this, if, and then after availability, you go to the booking but then we are in a completely different territory, which is uh, not yet uh, constructed. What we are thinking is that there are other standards there that might be useful, like OSDM or TOMP. And uh, we, for OGP availability request, we did some explanatory things, and but, uh, um, it is not yet really production ready yet. Production ready in principle are the multi-point trip request and the exchange point request that those you use if you really do distributed planning. This usually works that uh, it, an application asks one active server, which then makes the distributed request to different regions. This is a, an example of, of how linking Alps could look like where you have different regional servers. Um, which they are then asked, and then the the active server builds the whole trip together from from fragments. Um, there are a lot of questions that are discussed about performance and uh, reliability and things that we are currently studying. Next slide, please. So, for, from the things I thought you you know now what services are available. Um, what do we have as data? So we have the classical public transport for Switzerland with timetable, with real time. We will add uh, disruption this year, disruption information. So it is it's not uh, blocking, but uh, you will notice that uh, a certain trip um, has some problems. Um, what we will add as well this year is a smaller lift and cabin. So on, in the mountains, things get, get better. Um, then the, what is important is that the individual traffic is routed through OSM currently, and we will add height profiles and the blockage of hike trails uh, this year. Um, we also think about adding the, the sharing stream that was uh, prepared by the BFA um, this year. So then you get the sharing location and the, the sharing services. Um, then we are talking on-demand traffic, but this probably will still or only be on our test systems this year. And um, depending on, on how linking else progresses, um, uh, we will have some more regions outside Switzerland on, on the test systems available. <coughs> so I think now I hand over to you, Vasile. Uh, yes, so uh, hello everyone. My name is Vasile Kotovano. Um, I'm uh, working in this sector for uh, from day one since I moved to Switzerland and yeah, with OGP also like from, from the early early days when they launched it in 2016. Um, just to, to give you here on the chat, on the public chat, the link to the actual uh, app that I'm going to demo now like uh, quickly, just to give you an idea of um, what is this app doing and uh, how how it's performing, right? So I hope you can see my screen. Um, basically, what you are see, so so this is the application which is implementing two of those APIs that Matthias was uh, was uh, uh, presenting. One is uh, fetching the the point of interest, namely the stations and uh, the shared uh, uh, locations and uh, anything else that comes as a POI and they are coming through these layers. 
Uh, also, it's helping out us uh, uh, during the, the lookup for the stations, like, I don't know, if I go to Toon, for instance, and stuff like that, I get a nice uh, autocomplete about uh, the stations. These are also provided by, by the same API. Uh, and then uh, we have the, um, uh, the actual OG3 request that, that uh, Matthias was mentioning. So that, that's the, actually the, the core API which we are using for, for, for displaying information on the map. So just just to, to do a query now from from Tun to Zurich Hub, and I'm hitting the production server here. You can also select which stage you want to, to show. Just a, a note here, uh, this application also like it, it was a request to actually test uh, immediately like those without having like separate uh, installations, but to just have in, in in the same installation the the ability to change to which uh, which uh, stage we are wanting to point at the backend. So what we are seeing here actually, so is um, uh, a, a tree result, so a normal thing, so nothing fancy, right? Uh, Zurich, Zurich burn is quite boring, right? So so not too many uh, uh, public transport informations, but actually what we can do actually, can you can just drag and drop uh, a point on the map, so those are draggable, and then you can get another uh, another uh, uh, location, sorry, trip request uh, sample. And then uh, the second trip looks the same ish. The third one looks with a change in burn. You can see that uh, we can also like zoom to the individual legs that we can do, but also we can go and refine the from and to location by going to from, for instance. And here you can uh, um, adjust the, the location, fine tune with, with this drag and drop uh, 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 on the map approach. Also, you can pick up stations like those are those are the stations which are fetched from that uh, location information request, which which Matthias was mentioning. And you can simply click on it and say, I want this to go from here to Zurich Hub, and then it's continuing to, to make uh, another request that are going to be uh, station to station. But of course, you saw it's also doing coordinates to coordinates. Um, what else to show, like in this quick uh, overview of the application, you can change like yeah, dates in the in the future, whatever, uh, and then yeah, like that would be it from just a high level view of the application itself. Uh, to I'm gonna switch now back to the slides that you, just to give you an idea of uh, what's under the hood here and uh, and uh, what did we use for for programming this uh, this solution. So. Uh, Let's see. Uh, we we are having here the the high level architecture view of what uh, what this application is doing. So I was telling you. So so Matthias was presenting there are four or there were four main APIs last year uh, when we implemented the first version, and then what I'm using I'm actually using those two like location information request and trip request, right? So those two two APIs which are consumed by by this guy, which is the SDK, the core thing, which is actually executing the, the queries and talks with the, with the XML uh, API, and then parses the, and converts the, the response into the models, right? And then uh, uh, inside, so the application, the application is actually built of, of this core SDK, like the, the JavaScript core SDK, and then we have the app itself, so the UI part is is actually uh, the other box, and then this uh, talks with with uh, uh, other services like like third party services. For map solution, we use Mapbox because yeah, like uh, everyone is using now, and it's it's quite easy to integrate. And then uh, also uh, UI wise, like for instance that drop down that you saw, this is the, this is a solution which came from from SBB Angular team. They are publishing open source uh, a set of components which which it was handier and easy to to integrate. Also, Bootstrap is here. So yeah, I was mentioning. So so the former Twitter Bootstrap, the the, the web framework for uh, for building uh, responsive websites. So in a nutshell, we have we have uh, uh, this as a, as a UI part. Like uh, so so the guy that is using the the Angular. It's an Angular app. I didn't say that. It's a it's actually an Angular app. It was generated with Angular 11. Uh, uh, outdated today, you know that those guys they are iterating quite fast here. But yeah. uh, and, and then we have the um, we have the um, uh, star SBB, which also is outdated because uh, right now there is another version uh, uh, in place for it. So um, and then for the core, like for this guy, I'm using like um, uh, this, be, besides the other open source packages, uh, we are using like this uh, XML DOM and then XPath. Like for parsing and then for for querying the XML and then to, to convert it to the to the TypeScript objects. So the whole thing here is like TypeScript based. 
and then what we are seeing uh, uh, like in the as an application the application is built entirely on on open source uh, stuff okay entirely the 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 map box uh, is as you maybe some of you guys know they are stepping into a into a property um, so it, it's a open source but a bit closed like uh, on their side so yeah but i'm still using because you can you can fetch it easily uh, it's easy to, to to connect actually another map provider without any problem so so yeah uh, entire oss uh, based and then yeah like uh, easy to use the, the components right uh, switching and yeah like uh, the, the last thing that i want to mention is that this uh, this is actually a, a github pages hosted uh, 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 application so uh, actually we uh, we are using github to as, as a hosting solution it's not uh, is not something that that needs a, a, a server per se, right? Uh, the next one, uh, we are. Uh, I'm going to show you, like, very briefly on the Angular part, what components we have here. So basically, yeah, like, I'm going to go very quickly through. So we have a, a root, like the main. This is embedding, like, in a, in a in a normal Bootstrap page, and then we have like the root application. This is the map part, right? Of course, and then the search form which uh, which it's expanded in the beginning and then the uh, journey results which is collapsed uh, because no results are, are in the beginning and then each of those they are actually going like that right so we have for instance the the, the search result we have this autocomplete thing which comes from sbb uh, uh, angular team i was telling you before and then we have uh, this um, uh, mot switcher between the the legs and then the date pickers which are also sbb angular and then a bunch of pop-ups, like the, the pop-over, which allow the user to, to enter custom XML and so forth. And then the results is actually, again, a, a, a journey result component with a bunch of rows. And then each of those rows, they have like the trip, the, the OGP trip re, uh, request response rows. Those, they are actually having legs and those legs, they are, uh, they are shown on the map as individual uh, uh, boxes, right? Uh, yeah, and um, so that's the, the the Angular UI components, and then uh, with regard of of features, uh, so I, I showed before like the the app has like those simple simple search uh, functionality, like from to you can choose uh, either a location, like a known location as a, as a station or uh, or a point, but also like uh, coordinates, right? Uh, we have that autocomplete thing, and then with the map, with the right click, you can say, I want to, to get this random uh, from and to location. That can be also done. The position can be fine-tuned by uh, by dragging the markers. Uh, I was documenting like uh, all those possible parameters and combinations in this URL. Feel free to, 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 to check it. And then we have also the whole, uh, the whole features uh, uh, documented in this page. So, um, in the in the next slide, what I'm showing you here is actually how I'm translating the response from um, uh, OGP uh, trip request to the to the application itself. So it's nothing fancy. I'm I'm keeping the same structure more or less. It's just like translated to to, to the TypeScript word. So all of those individual rows here that you saw, they are actually trip leg uh, items in OGP world. Uh, uh, a walking. Uh, a walking uh, uh, leg like this one is called the continuous leg and uh, something that it's using public transport like this is the funicular from from Gurten is actually uh, uh, it's a timed leg so because it, it depends on a time like a from and a to with a with a written time schedule right and then what we have also it's a transfer leg like can between the stations for instance here or in the main station in Bern this is called a transfer leg yeah, those are mapped here, and then you can see them how they are mapped actually on the map. Uh, and uh, yeah, coming back to to, um, to the features here, I'm also presenting like a, a more complex feature. Uh, in this case, we have uh, actually um, an artificial multi uh, multi steps journey. So actually, uh, what our user wants to do here is actually wants to drive his car to to burn. And then from there to take public transport, right? So he goes to a parking rail station, he drops the car there, and then he takes public transport. And this one doesn't exist as a, like we cannot give that to the to the API yet. But what we can do, we actually can do two uh, subsequent requests of OGP trip request type, right? So in the first one, we are checking, give me the the 
the suitable uh, uh, trip from my current location to uh, <clears throat> to burn and this is a via point right and then uh, and then uh, uh, from here the arrival time from here it's used as a departure time for the next for the next one which is actually um, another OGP trip request but with a, with a normal uh, driving mode here and then walk into the to the uh, uh, destination uh, let me just demo to you this uh, this feature actually so let's go to i don't know again we go to somewhere in burn right we take that we can we can easily zoom by clicking on this small icon here this is a bit uh, hidden feature for now on. and then we say okay i want to i'm somewhere here in Koenitz, let's say so i'm going to drive from here I want to stop in Bern, like at the, at the next to the main station. So here I'm going to head a, a via point. So that was a right click on the map, and to uh, and then I don't know to go to another location, with something randomly here. I put the Centrum Park, but it can be anything else. Uh, I don't know to, to the airport or to to, to something like that. Uh, just to put like a random location here on the map. So let's say two. And then we have, like you see, the 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 <clears throat> UI changes from coordinates to coordinates, having an MOT mode of transport in between, which I can uh, uh, force to have uh, a self-driving car. And let's give it a try. Um, now it's changing here to the self-driving. Okay, that should stay on default. And let's see what we get. Of course, it was a demo effect. Let's see what's happening. Okay, let's refresh. It could be that I had like, uh, okay. You still see what I see, right? So there is a- You should switch to the test environment. Yeah, but still like, I don't get like the, the from and to Christoph. Like I, I think it's a, it's either a problem. Okay, it, okay. it was a temporary glitch or maybe related right with my key. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the demo effect, of, of course, it happens also here. So no more errors. Let's try now again. Uh, I'm going to switch to burn. Uh, trying again from here. So from, and then we go to here with a two, with a stop at the station. So I'm going to add a via here, right? And then let's see how it goes. Share mobility, search. So I have a share mobility. I didn't have a driving car, but it, it proves the, the same thing. Uh, assuming that I have a, a bicycle here somewhere, so I can I can cycle here. So that was the first request, OGP request, right? And then the arrival time from this guy is actually used for the next for the next uh, uh, OGP request. So I can also switch to the cars, which is self driving car, and then you have that. So if you also want to check, if you also want to check at home that, uh, you should click on permalink here and I'm gonna give you here on the chat just to have an idea. Okay, so so that was the that was the actual uh, uh, combined meta meta open journey uh, uh, request. Uh, how, and how can you achieve that? And of course, you can chain those like to have like multiple. From here, you can take another car and so forth and stuff like that. Uh, and next one, just switching back to the slides. Uh, here we have the um, uh, also other features. So uh, the request that you are seeing here actually can be also debugged and inspected. You can also, of course, monitor the traffic here in the in the browser, but also you can have access directly here to the request XML, for instance just to give you an insight of how uh, how this is looking like you see from coordinates to coordinates uh, using uh, yeah self drive car as the first request and then the second guy is actually just pointing here so the second guy is uh, i hope you, you can see the the, the 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 screen okay so the second guy is actually doing uh, coordinates to coordinates again, but he's not using that uh, that self-drive car anymore, right? So so this is how it's going. Uh, so th there are two OGP trip requests which can be debugged, and also the the actual uh, point of interest thing that I uh, Matthias was telling you before. Like for instance, this bounding box here, I can see which stops they are inside. So first of all, the request it looks like that. 
the request is like upper left to lower it. So the normal bonding box with the maximum 300 uh, items. And then we have the, the response, which in this case, there are a bunch of stations, right? And uh, yeah, with uh, with some IDs, uh, those I don't know, but those some of them I know by heart because I'm using them all the time, like burn, like this. And then, uh, yeah, yeah. So, so this is like what, uh, what, what the response uh, can be debugged, but also like the user can actually uh, imagine that can uh, can actually uh, have uh, uh, a triple request that he wants to debug, right? And then uh, what we can do here, actually, we can take the response. The response looks like that here. It's a huge one because it has a lot of information, your information, and also XML is verbose by, by itself, right? So, and then we have here a bunch of trip results and uh, trips, right? And uh, other trips and so forth. So we can take this whole guy here and actually go to, to this button. And what you're gonna see here, if I'm passing the custom OGP trip request, you're actually gonna see only the trip which I was interested in. And actually, if I if I do now display trips, this doesn't do any request to the, to the OGP APIs anymore. It just goes straight to rendering mode. And then you see it's just that trip that I was talking before, right? Uh, you can go crazy, of course, like here, for instance, let me just go to the, um, so we have a leg, a continuous leg of walking, right? And then we have a time leg of the public transport. And then this guy goes with uh, with some coordinates here, right? And then uh, and then we have, uh, uh, we have, okay, let, let's change, let's arbitrarily change this, like the first guy, which is the, the leg for uh, going into the, the continuous leg, exactly. And then if I if I just put here instead of uh, you know, random coordinates, I'm just adding one, right? We're gonna shift. Hopefully, we're gonna do that. Let's see what is happening. So I go. I I say, give me the other one, and then it, as you can see here, it goes like straight in whatever Hungary. But yeah, like you 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 got the point, right? So you can you can uh, dynamically change or you know uh, build the API uh, and adapt the API by just uh, changing the XML. And uh, uh, by having this thing in mind, yeah, we we also had like in order to to, to speed up the development, uh, I also uh, made those uh, and also like collected those XMLs as um, as examples, so I can also demo to to various meetings. So what I'm gonna do now to you, I'm gonna show you a, a, a local version which runs on my machine, which actually is using uh, user mocks like uh, user generated of those uh, of those. Uh, trips. So if I switch to, this is my local machine, right? And then this was, is, what it's doing actually is rendering like this trip. And for me, it was important like to test like those uh, straight from the file. In this, in this case, it's using like this trip response theory, whatever. And then if I go here, I have it, I have it on my local machine, right? And then I can change it. I can add even like, uh, let's go for, uh, I don't know, um, yeah, like information like 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 real time you see like uh, if i go to the second leg of, of this guy uh that's a leg track whatever this is a continuous leg no the time leg right and then the time leg has uh has some stations uh and then to end a ban off so i can i can go here and check it Unless it's where is it? Ah, the service. Of, of course, I can change it like immediately. I can put, for instance, T fifteen. Although it is five, right? Just to have an idea of what, what, what is there. Like you see, T fifteen here. Although it's a, it was a five before. Of course, I can change the the times and everything, and I can add like extra long text just to debug and then to 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 play quickly with the UI to to, to have an idea how how is it going. And yeah, like I have a bunch of those uh, of those uh, mocks, and then we can also get like fancy fancy requests. I'm gonna just show you the on-demand in uh, uh, in uh, Myringen, which looks like that. Basically, that was uh, that was uh, a news case that uh, uh, Matthias and, and his colleagues, Christo from from SBB, they had like to 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 demo what happens like if you go from two. To deep in deep in the mountains locations, and what happens if someone has to pick you up like with with this car on demand bus, right? 
which is called in Evit person and transport and driving minute and is called. I'm not sure what 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 brand is that and if it exists in, in reality. Maybe Christoph can give more information about that. So 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 yeah, that was a, a, a really uh, useful use case for for testing. Then the linking arts project, which was mentioned by. Um, uh, uh, by uh, Matthias before that was in the, let me see if I still have it, walking in the shuttle, exactly this guy, I think it's the Merano guy. So you see this is going outside of Switzerland, the post auto goes to, to, to Mars, and then from here you take a train, and then here of course you, you go to your destination. Uh, some other uh, locations, interesting locations, they were like, uh, yeah, those, uh, this one is not special per se. Yeah, it just have many legs and then it goes from uh, from another location to another location. Ah, another thing to mention, like uh, uh, here you see like uh, as the crowd bird uh, like fly, you know, like uh, uh, not so those fancy fancy lines of of the of the train. So we can also actually uh, change those by have to remember where it is, like somewhere here in the don't commit part, uh, which I have to remember. So if I refresh now, you're gonna see actually the the normal lines, right, of the of the public transport or not. Maybe this guy wasn't ready at that moment, or yet he it is. You see, so. So the post auto does the the nice uh, lines to the destination, and then it goes straight. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure why it's done like that here. Let me check with another mock, with a more recent one from today. So yeah, maybe this guy. I think this one has yeah, this one has a, a bit of uh, of a strange. Uh, uh, how to say polyline for for the public transport, but yeah, I I have some others which, like the one in Hur, I think is interesting to show. Just to, to give you an idea, and then we have the yeah. So here you can see is is doing a bit of more uh, more realistic. Of course, you can go crazy and have even like I I, I made just a mock just for today. It looks like that, so <laughs> you can go crazy. Anyway, so. So come, you 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 got the point, right? So so you can you can debug your your your, your lines here easily. Uh, yeah, just checking the time here. We we I have to speed up a bit. So so you can debug those those things. I'm gonna just show you quickly how you can extend and of course like like uh, it's yeah like what I have uh, in my in my uh, how to say uh, pipeline, but what it's also like on 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 the business timeline, right? So. If you want to, so first of all, if you if you want to, to have a look uh, more in detail, go to GitHub, clone the repo. Uh, you want a feature, just go uh, uh, do the clone of, of the of the project, right? So just like that, it, it, it should be like yeah. I'm doing again a live thing, which shouldn't be done, but yeah, let, let's go and then you do an npm install. Uh, okay, I have to go to the actual guy OGP demo. Okay. Ignore those because yeah, I, we still need to update to the to the latest ones, also the latest Angular. But yeah, like you're, you're gonna fetch the, the 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 needed packages, is done right, and then and then you can just say and serve, and then the guy is gonna complain because I have a, a, a local installation already running and he wants to use another port. Yes, let's use another port, and then what we're gonna do? We're gonna compile those those assets and then uh, in hopefully less than. 20 seconds, building, and then we should have a new URL ready at uh, this fancy URL. I go here and you see I have a, I have a running thing. Hopefully it should work now. No other issues with my key, yeah. Okay, so you, you see like it, it was a less than one minute thing We just uh, power it on, you have it is, is running, right? Uh, then uh, uh, back to the slides. Uh, um, do you want a feature? Do you want? To, did you find the, uh, an issue? Just, just open a, 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 a pull request, uh, or, or just create an issue and then assign it to to, to me or to to, to Matthias Christoph. Uh, of course, you can extend like those. Uh, that you you can do like the extension of the core itself, like add a new a new API maybe, 
or even the UI itself, or even write your own application, uh, not on Angular, but on React or something else, should be, should be straightforward. Uh, yeah, I have a couple of migrations to do, like uh, Angular 13, uh, like SBB latest, uh, ESTA. Yeah, I, uh, this is planned, but yeah, not, it wasn't important at this moment. Also, it's hard to, to keep, like the, the guys in, you, you know already, it's hard to keep up with those things uh, all, all the time. It's a, it's a full-time job, actually. And then also there are a, bu a bunch of technical aspects which I want to cover, like also like the, I want to, to create the, the OGP SDK as an M and publish it as an NPM package, so so it's even easier to, to integrate it. Map changes, so you, some of you guys, they, you know me that, yeah, I'm, I'm quite into, into the Carto stuff, so yeah. Uh, having the 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 the, the, the Mapbox uh, SDK, it's also like very easy to to, to integrate uh, in the map component. Like switching to another map uh, style, it's a matter of changing one line of code. And if I switch back here to uh, to this guy, you see you have like a, 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 a switch stop. Let me switch actually to remove those mocks to, to have an idea of. Uh, here, where is it? Do not use, yeah. So, so yeah, like you, 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 you have that, right? So we can, uh, you can, uh, you can use uh, switch stop or maps just out of the box immediately, right? So yeah, that can be something that I want to spend more, like adding some labels here for the changing uh, and for the for the Umsteiger parts and, and 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 so forth. There is a ton of stuff we can do, but of course those are steered by Matthias and his colleagues from from SBB. And yeah, business features, I'm going to hand over to Matthias back now. Thanks. Okay. Um, so um, this is what, what we, we intend on the business side of, of doing. Next is uh, that we do some rewriting of the sharing part because we um, should be able to, to use it differently now. Um, we will add more point of interest. Um, in the SDK, the stop event request does not exist yet. I think this is also something to be added. Also the trip info request. And then at least on, the, on for the test environment, we, we will then work on availability and also on, on some deep integration proof of concept. If, if deep integration, we, we mean um, going over to, to booking and things like, like that. But this is only experimental. Next slide. So there are some link. I think the uh, the slides will be available on the CH Open web page uh, soon, um, where you can get things. Where the demonstrator is, is if you want to know more about the, the the standard, if you have some issues with it, or if you want to do buy the official document, uh, which is TA TS one seven one one eight. Um, which you can do from the Schweizerische Normenvereinigung or directly from SEN. Next slide. Um, so if you want to start now building things and questions, after there is a question session now, but uh, afterwards there are uh, some emails that you can use if you want to do especially something with, with Java bindings. Um, there we can help you as well. You can send me an email then there. And what's also important, if you have done something and, and want us to publish it on the showcases site of uh, openmobilitydata.swiss, um, then just send it to opendata at sbb.ch. So um, I think we are now fully at the question part, if, if there are questions. There were some in the chat already, which were answered there. I think Jonas asked something like, do you plan to include trips from Switzerland to larger European cities? Yeah, but I, Christoph answered it already. The, okay. the problem is the problem is the data and the rights to to the data. Uh, Linking Alps is is going in in that direction a little bit, but uh, um, not uh, Germany and France. But if we find a way to to do something like that, we we will at a certain point. 
Um, perhaps it's also need to be mentioned that uh, more and more countries should provide their timetables in, in an open way with, with the national access points using NetEx. Um, the real time data is usually a bit more problematic as it is, is, is more segmented and it is a hell of a lot of work to, to integrate that. This, this may, for instance, result that, that you have some static trip planning based on, on a larger swath of Europe uh, based on, on the timetable alone. And then, then you have to go to, to the distributed uh, trip planners to, to get an update on the real time information, which then is a, is a timing problem. But we are, were thinking a bit about that or that you, if you want to get the prices, you, you, you have to go there. But the whole national access uh, point thing seems to be a bit delayed. So uh, we haven't seen a lot of uh, full timetables of whole countries that are provided in a way that uh, makes people who have to read them happy. But uh, we're working on that. Uh, there were also some questions on the self-driving mode, so which is actually means, yes, uh, driving your own car and then uh, uh, switch to, to, to public transport. Yeah, maybe you want to mention something like, is it on burn or yeah, like the on test is available now? Yeah, maybe? it is is on test, but we are thinking about adding things also uh, uh, bicycle, uh, um, yeah. play, bike and ride things. We we, we we are thinking about that. It 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 all depends on if we can have access to to quality data which we really can load. And the Federal Office of Transportation has to uh, say that it's okay that we do that. They have done that for some things and there is a roadmap for 2020. But um, then yeah. it goes on with 2023. So the idea is to, is to always increase the abilities of the Open Journey Planner and also the available data. Yeah, I'm also demoing to you the, the walking possibilities, which is open street map data, right, Matthias? It's currently open street map, but depending yeah. on what is going on, we will switch yeah. to uh, Verkehrsnetz Schweiz when they are ready. Yeah, uh, don't try to use it with longer distances. So uh, I think we're going to get an error here or even nothing found. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah it, like, it is, uh, this is on purpose if you yeah. do it like that. So uh, beca because it is is not a, a hike planner, but, exactly. a but a trip planner. So uh, if we find some elements that, that there are restriction in the current configuration, yeah. we will add, always add them to, to the cookbook we, on, on the test. We have especially had a look at uh, mountain hiking and yeah. um, th then we had to increase because uh, it, there may be that you want to walk more than 30 minutes. <laughs> what, was it a news case here, uh, Matthias or Christoph in, uh, in Arosa that we can demo now? Or? Uh, I think it's better to ask Christoph if he has something ready, but I'm not sure if they, they are... So let's see. Rosa is, is, was loaded, yeah. We did yeah, the test see. there. So be beautiful, uh, what a Schweizer Wege material, right? Yeah. With device hole and then cable car down yeah. to. Uh, yeah. Right, we had this door to peak proof of concept um, provided last year in, in Rosa. We added the timetable of those. Um, and added also some Wanderwege hiking routes from the canton of Grisens where we had, where we could route on him. But um, I think it still works on the test area, but yeah. certainly not on the, should not yeah. work on the productive system. Yeah. I'm not sure other questions here there were. Oh, I think they were answered already. Mm -hmm. yeah. If there are no new ones, mm -hmm. or you contact us by, by email, we continue. Then uh, 
thank you very much for your for, for your time and they hope we hope you find the, what we are doing interesting and we would like to see the, that you use it or give us uh, feedback uh, uh, on on things we should do better or new features and thank you Vasile, for the programming <laughs> it was a pleasure. no hey thank you everyone for for watching and yeah feedback uh, welcome on 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 those channels yeah thank you